Good morning, guys. I am now posting to let you know what's going on. The hotel that the community put me up in, because the police gave me 20 minutes to get out of the house that I have a name on the contract. They gave me 20 minutes to gather my stuff. Illegal. Gave me a restraining order with no date. So if I leave, they can come after me with a bench warrant. No. I've never left a shiner or a bruise on Nick's face, but yet he's left bruises on my neck. He melted down. And you guys should see the weather outside. The police and the community illegally evicted me. They, I mean, I tried to bar them from the door and they forced their way in. They locked my dog up while they were harassing me. And you guys saw that. They gave me no date for this. So that way, if I do leave, they can say, oh, she never showed up. And there's a bench warrant out for my arrest. They've done this before to other people. There is no civil rights here. No protection for abuse. No protection except for, for men. Women are treated like prostitutes. And guess what? There's only one person I can get a hold of my abuser I can't get a local lawyer none of them will call me back but I have to be out of here by 11 with nowhere to go and like I said Tenth day of January, they evicted me. I can't even get justice for a stolen social security card or ID. I can't get justice for strangulation or for abuse, for molestation of my child. But yet he can get, he can melt down, hire Bruce Anderson, who we all know is related to Wyatt Baum, who I told the molestation about. Does anybody know a lawyer out there that I could get? No? Anybody? I'm upset. This is... An injustice anywhere is an injustice everywhere. And apparently a single person who is now a prostitute and her mental health... Yeah, it talks about mental health in here, how I threatened him in his sleep. That's a lie. He can lie all he wants. You guys can lie all you want, but you guys are murdering a person right before the freaking world's eyes. The police. Because I'm a strong woman who will stand up for herself. I should have done this. In, I couldn't in 2013. I was silenced. Then silenced again and silenced again. It's murder. A restraining order to prevent abuse. Either they're sick with a map eye and they want to take down a Guevara, or they don't like strong women and they use their dicks as weapons. Wow, and you want to know something? They The police had me cornered, which you guys saw, cornered up against that chair. Locked my dog up. Because they, I know they're breaking the law. And I can't get a hold of legal aid. I can't get a hold of a lawyer. The McCalls, Kent McCall, well, we already know. My brother fell asleep during his time in 98. But yet you guys have his back. I still love him, but he shouldn't have fallen asleep. And my sister, she's married to a racist. My son is on meth now, and my youngest son is being molested by his father. Department of Human Services, they don't do their job anymore. The police, they don't do their job. They close the local shelter, so if I, like I said, if I leave town to find shelter, they can come after me with a bench warrant. 
because there is no date. I know how they operate. There's their head, if you guys must know. They want to eliminate somebody. They take away all civil rights. They take away all following of prescribed laws and procedures. They take away everything. Because I speak out. I speak up. This right here. You guys see it's Heather Gray. It's a little bit of an inside joke in regards to an ex. When we broke up. I talked to my mom about my first, you know, I got kicked out at the age of 18. Um, my first time it was a bit of a rape. I was very, very drunk. I told my mom about it. I told Ken about it. They kicked me out. That was the, that was 20 year old files that they're abusing. Bipolarism. I can't look to any family members. And schizophrenic because I have a propensity to understand things that they don't understand any never but anyway it's kind of a heather gray color I was hoping to abort that tiger in a healthy way but they keep abusing What do you do? Hmm. Little salad gal didn't know what to do, so. And I can't, there's no justice. I, there's no justice for women here. There's no justice. I see all these women here getting paid to sleep with local men in this hotel. And I won't. So now I'm kicked out. I know it's not the proprietor doing it, it's the caretakers. And they're all addicted to meth. I hope you guys have fun watching Small Town Justice in the wild, wild west, where a woman is nothing more than an object, a tool, while a man uses their tools as a weapon. Because they have to exert dominance. You wonder why I never married any of them. <laughs>